What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today. A lot of people asking me about the objectives and also about how to unlock another spin at the legend players. Okay, so when we go in here to the eFootball festival, you will see that there are new objectives in. So these are similar to the career objectives um, that are tied to the overall kind of like game uh and the dream team the dream team mode itself so you've got like complete objectives you've got scoring a total amount of goals this keeps stacking up so once you get to 300 it will unlock the next tier and so on and so on they're all the claimed ones that we have there every single one there um you get the rewards right but for this one here there was an objective in it um that you got number one you got a free login bonus with the eFootball uh festival so this free login bonus gave you on the first day it gave you a free spin at one of the epics that you're seeing there you can check out my video over on youtube of all the players i've got all the training guides there as it is already and you can see i've covered all of these so like all the training guides the pack openings the everything pretty much everything of the free uh legends that i have covered right so you can check them out as normal over on the channel, right? But there's also another campaign objective that you see down here, which is the Epic Worldwide. So this special login present is for one spin, and then you also get a campaign objective, which is going to be an Epic Worldwide as well, okay? So you will get two in total. You get a spin at two of these players, get two legends, but there is a bit of confusion about it, right? Because the campaign objectives are kind of linked to stuff that you need to do in-game, but they also can't all be completed um, as of right now, right? They need to be kind of like unlocked over time, right? So you can see here that I've already started to unlock certain objectives, right? So we've scored using League One players. So anyone that plays in the League One Uber Eats uh, League, uh, which is the French League in the tour event, we've already unlocked that. So I scored two goals in Mbappe. We've also got the eFootball League goals, the phase stage, you can score goals in that. There's another one for the eFootball goals. That is six goals that you need to score. And then there is another objective there that you need to score in the tour event using League One players as well. So this one is the same as this one, except that you need to score one goal in this one to unlock an objective. And you need to score three goals in this one, right? You also need to do the rest of these objectives, okay? Now, you can see there that I've already complete three objectives out of the five, okay? But with this one here... I can unlock another fourth objective, okay? Which by means that all I have to do is click on this, go into the challenge and complete the challenge, right? On top of that, we can also score goals in challenge event matches. So when you click on this, these will tell you what the challenge event matches are. So they're the golden goal, they're the legend challenge event that you can get in the events as well, right? So if we go into this, you'll see all the rewards, okay? These rewards are separate. This is what's confusing a lot of people. These rewards here that you get from doing the actual challenge are just tied to the challenge. They're not tied to the objective. Yes, they link up, and yes, you can double dip with them and unlock them both at the same time. But if we click on challenge into this one here, it is going to bring us into the golden goal event, okay? This is a golden goal challenge event. However, if we go back out here and we go into this one, to the actual events itself, we can go into the legend one. So if we go into the events, you will see the difference between the challenge events and... Uh, user matches or whatever so you'll see challenge event there so one is against the ai the other is against the user matches right against 1v1 anything that says the eFootball little icon on it or anyone that has the little uh, eFootball image on it there as the two images here they're part of the objectives in it so what we're going to do in this one is we're going to go into this we're going to enter into this and we're going to aim for three points so all you have to do is complete the challenge get three points, okay? So I'm going to just be back here in a second. We also get a free chance deal here as well of the player of the week. So you should be doing this anyway. You can't set this to be AI controlled and you also have to play on the difficulty that they do it, right? So the event details are here as follows. You can read that and there the rewards are there, okay? So you get a free chance deal from the first time rewards and then you get your two skill trainers. So all we're going to do is we're going to set up our team to have League One players in here and we're going to score with that. We're going to complete the objective and then we will see you guys in just a second. All right, there's no pressure on me now. I just need to score with Mbappe, lads. Just need to score with the big man. No pressure. Ref! Oh, come on, ref. Why every time I'm doing a challenge is it difficult, lads? I just need to score with Mbappers. Here we go. Oh, pressure's getting to me, lads. <laughs> Lovely tackle. There we go. Touch and go. Messi. Mbappé. Oh, 
Oh my God, I'm really trying to force it to score with the League One players. <sighs> Disaster. There we go. So you will see the objectives completed, goals won. So that has just popped up there because I scored the League One player. So we're gonna finish off this campaign or this objective and then we'll talk to you in a sec. All right, so we're just about finished this off. I'll just show you exactly in real time. So we're just about finished this event now, this interception. And you've completed the event. We've got the objective completed, complete objectives. You see the coins pop up there. So I'll go back and show you now the difference between the screens, right? So we just absolutely destroyed PSG there. Um, and that is uh, on the easier difficulty. The next one is on the legend difficulty, but we already got the encore stars and we get this objective complete. So now we go back out, we can do that event and we can go in and we can clear that as well and get the ultimate prize of that, which is the two trainer programs. But when, now when we go back out to the objectives, okay, we're gonna have this, which we see here. And this is the last day of it, lads. So make sure you do with this if you want to follow on. So these objectives now you can see here are all cleared, right? So we now have this one, this one, this one, but we also have this one and we have the eFootball goals as well scored. So you can see there that we've got multiple um, objectives done. Now, I still need to use this one on the tour event. That's not going to be a massive uh, concern. That is the same one that you just literally just go into this challenge here. And the tour event is against the AI. So this is the League One the starter cup that you go in and you simply just score three goals in this, the same as what we just did there now. That will unlock eight um, uh, career objectives. But once we receive all of these, right? Once we receive all of these, there are going to be more objectives that are launched uh, over this period. So round one is up until the sixth of the seventh, right? Then you're going to have round two, round three, and these are the modes that are going to be in it. So they're going to have challenge events, tour events, and eFootball league they're the eligible modes to get this. And it says here, all you have to do is take part in the events during this to complete all of these. Just simply keep on playing, lads. That's all you have to do, right? Once you complete this one, there are going to be more rewards to unlock as the event continues over the next month. Because this event is going on for the next three weeks or four weeks, if I'm not mistaken. So the same with this, rinse and repeat. You're going to go into this challenge. You're going to go into continue this. You can work away. We've already played all this through. You can work away on this. It doesn't matter what you do, uh, difficulty-wise or anything like that. You do have to play the games yourself. We are 1,922 points away to the main reward, but you might as well rack up that and get everything. You're going to double dip on these and stack up the rewards, right? So we're going to go in, we're going to do this, and then that is going to clear all the objectives that are available at the moment. And then I will see you guys in just a couple of minutes, and uh, that's pretty much it for the video. All right, let's, we finished this objective as well, and we've uh, also doubled up on the starter cup being finished as well. So it's just a handy way of doing it. If you are struggling to play against the Legend AI, I would advise you just keep the ball as much as you can. Don't get caught in the counter, similar to how you might play a top division player. But now when we go back to the objectives, and sorry this video is a bit long, you will see that we've got all of these objectives complete. Um, you can still play that one. You can continue to do the golden goal one as well if you want to unlock some more rewards. But when we go back now to the objectives, you're going to see that we have one more objective complete, which is going to be the goal scored with the League One players. And you will see here now that as you unlock these, you will get more and more of these unlocked. So you literally just have to rinse and repeat. Unlock the objectives, go back in. This event wasn't here a second ago because I hadn't complete the tree one, the go tree score. Go, scoring three goals so once i unlocked that one the five goals unlocked so the league one uber eats that was the last one that i unlocked first you score one goal then you score three then the other objective completes so you can just play on any difficulty lads as you work through this you can go back into this play the challenge event doesn't matter if you've passed the challenge or not you can literally go in and just play on um, the lowest difficulty score three or four goals then go back out let the ai f uh, complete the match then go back out and get your objectives. And they're going to be adding more and more objectives as time goes on. So that's just something to keep in mind. Don't panic if you don't see all the objectives to complete the entire thing to get your free spin and to get your free coins. So hopefully, look, it's a long-winded one, but it's a thorough one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and just follow this video and you will smash it over the next couple of weeks.